right, guys. Well, I'm back today with a brand new 1 to 8 LPVO with an offset mount, flip up lens covers, and a detachable throw lever, all included in the box at a very reasonable price from the company CV Life. If you follow the channel, you'll know I've been reviewing a lot of their optics lately, especially their LPVOs, and they've always been a great value for money. This is the first time, though, that I've checked out a 1 to 8, and they've really included a ton of nice specs and features. And again, the offset mount and flip out lens covers inside the box for right at about 170. But for the release of this video, they actually have a clickable discount code on the Amazon link in the description below, as well as a code that you copy and paste during the checkout process to drop the price to about $119 with free Amazon Prime shipping, which is an amazing deal when you consider that this is a one to eight LPVO with a ton of great specs and features. Now, before we get too far into the overview, I do want to give a huge shout out to Callaway Ballistics for donating the 223 to help make this video. Now, why am I showing you guys 9mm? Because I feel like this is one of the greatest opportunities to grab affordable JHP 124 grain at a great price you can actually train with what you carry. I also have a discount code 704 Tactical for 5% off and free shipping on orders over $200. And on top of that, a lot of this JHP is under $22 for a box of 50, so definitely check it out. Now let's get back into the overview. One of the first things I want to notice is this is going to be a little bit longer than the 1 to 6s that they offer, which makes sense because it's a 1 to 8. But what you get with that a little bit of extra length is not a ton of extra weight. It balances nicely and there's no real concern with it being this long. It again uh, fits nicely on top of the flat top AR. The flip-up lens covers are standard, but they're actually see-through flip-up lens covers, which are nice, allowing you to utilize them if you just had to uh, quickly lift up the rifle and take your shot. Then you could flip them up later for a more precise shot without the distortion of the lenses. Now, this is an illuminated reticle, as well as their brand new reticle system that they just started offering on this particular one, which is a BDC reticle system set up for 5.56, so again, perfect for a flat-top AR. Now, the illumination is both red and green, and it's not quite daylight bright in every scenario, but it is bright enough for dusk and twilight shooting applications. Again, good for hunting applications. This is a second focal plane optic, meaning the bullet drop compensation is only effective at the eight power setting, or you could do the math at the four power setting by 50%. And then at the one power setting, the reticle is very large, allowing it to be utilized as a red dot, even with the illumination off, meaning you can use that black circle reticle system to engage your target with both eyes open. Now, I wanna talk about the glass clarity, the eye box and eye relief, especially in conjunction with the one and eight power setting to let you guys know how they work in both of those scenarios. Now, at the one power setting, the eye box and eye relief is massive, meaning how far away or close up you can be up, down, left, and right. This is incredibly forgiving, really competing with $300 and $400 optics. But again, after the discount codes, we are talking about 120, a little bit under. The next thing I wanna discuss is it's truly a one power setting. Now this does have an adjustable diopter located on the back and you can get that fine tuned in to where you're at the one power setting with both eyes open. It looks like you're looking at a red dot. There's no distortion, no edge distortion. It just works out great, which is surprising again for this price point. You can tell technology is improving drastically on LPVOs and what before or even four or five years ago would cost you four and $500, you can now get in something like this CV Life for right around 170 and again after the discounts 120. Now the zoom lever is very nice, it's very easy to use and you can unthread that and allowing you to get a very small zoom lever to stay out of the way if you didn't want this bulky thing hanging off the top but I personally love it. I mean I'm going to leave this permanently in there and this allows me to quickly transition if I can get it put back in there, quickly transition to the one power to the eight power setting. Now that's key because if you're tracking game across a field, something like a coyote, a hog, or even a deer, you can get a wide field of view at the one power setting or even the two or three power setting. But when you wanna take your shot, you can quickly just flip that over and now you're at the eight power setting and you can utilize the bullet drop compensation in the reticle system. 
Now, functionally, this worked great because the glass clarity is so good at the eight power setting where that bullet drop compensation is effective. You can really make out that reticle and fine detail at a distance and take your shots incredibly far, pretty much as far as the 5.56 five, round is going to travel and be effective. So I think your limitation is going to be the round more than the optic itself. Now, there are going to be better LPVOs out there. On the market, and this channel reviews everything from something like this all the way up to a $2,000 razor. But I like to keep everything in the perspective. This entire setup right here is a high value and budget setup. It's a KAK billet lower, and you can actually grab these over on the campsite page in the description below for about $135 after my discount code 704 Tactical, which is really good. Definitely check out the campsite page if you're interested in something like this. I've paired it up with a Radical Firearms Complete Upper Assembly that I grabbed for some deals, again, that you can find over on the campsite page, making this right at about a $500 or actually a $450 AR with a billet lower. You add the $120 LPVO from CV Life at the 1 to 8 power, and you have a jack-of-all-trades rifle that's capable of a ton without breaking the bank. This allows people to get into this style rifle without spending their entire life savings on something, so this is a great opportunity. It held zero. The glass clarity was good. Nothing broke, nothing walked loose, nothing shifted. And I've been running a lot of those other CV Life LPVOs with the same build quality, fit and finish for about a year now with no issues whatsoever. They have a lot of rounds through them. And then, although it can't directly translate to this optic, it is the same style build. So you can extrapolate a little bit of that quality data and translate it over here. And they've been working great. Again, all of the information, linking and codes will be in the description below for the optics. And a lot of the other information for the campsite page will be over there as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.